The IDF released video of the Israeli Navy SEAL commandos boarding the intercepted cargo ship late Tuesday night. The ship was bound for Hezbollah and filled with 100 tons of weaponry sent from Iran. The Navy invited international media to the Ashdod ports on Wednesday afternoon to take an up-close look at the munitions. We have here boxes of grenades. We have here behind me 106 millimeter shells and other 106 millimeter shells. We have here 107 millimeter rockets. Um, in addition, we have here, once again, hand grenades. During a routine patrol, the Israeli Navy SEALs became suspicious of the ship bearing Antigua flags, and they decided to open some of the containers which they saw came from Iran and were intended for Syria. IDF officials said that the boarding of the ship was done without raising of weapons for the ship's crew were unaware of the contents of the containers. Officials also did not place blame on Egypt where the weaponry was first loaded onto the ship under the guise of civilian cargo. In this container, this is one of many containers that were uh, revealed last night by the Israeli Navy. You can see the way Iran disguised the munition. You can see bags of white polyethylene. These bags are used to disguise the munitions. They were surrounding the munitions in a way that scanners would not be able to scan the munitions. This is an example. And we have all the containers filled with these artiothelene bags. We know that those containers left from the certificates on board the ship. We know that those containers went from Iran to Syria via several ports. We know that from the ships, uh, the, the cargo was civilian disguised, a civilian cargo. We know that, we know when you'll see the weapons, you'll see that it's weapons for terrorism, threats and activities. It's uh, rockets and other weapons. It's not for an army. It's for terrorist activities, the ranges, the amounts. You will see for whom it's, it's meant and for what. Media from all over the world was invited on Tuesday afternoon to look around the dozens of containers and take photos of the ship docked in the Ashdod ports. The Deputy Navy Chief spoke to both local and foreign media about the implications of the find. This cargo is another proof of the ongoing efforts of Iran to support terror while ignoring the UN resolutions, especially 1747 and other international laws. Benjamin Spear reporting for the Jerusalem Post, J-Post TV.